Is pine pollen yet another supplement that claims to boost testosterone without any human research backing its claims? Well, in this video, what I'll do is break down whether or not pine pollen actually works to boost testosterone and support male health. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please do like this video as it does help the YouTube algorithm. In this video, what I'll do is break down pine pollen tincture. Specifically, we'll look at how pine pollen can support male health and we'll go through some of the major benefits associated with using pine pollen. So I'm sure many of you should know by now that men really should not be eating soy. Now, the reason I'm talking about soy is because if we were to look at the male equivalent food, so the most androgenic food on the planet, I would actually consider pine pollen to be one of the most androgenic foods that we have access to. Similar to how soy is perhaps one of the richest foods sources of phytoestrogens, we can say the opposite about pine pollen, that pine pollen is one of nature's most abundant sources of phytoandrogens. One thing that we need to bear in mind is that the reason why I'm so heavily against soy consumption is purely due to the fact that it can massively lower DHT. Now, many of these lignans found within soy can actually block the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, inhibiting the conversion of testosterone into DHT. And this could explain why a vast number of men feel worse when they consume soy. Now, I do want to mention that pine pollen really does help with testosterone production, although human research is definitely lacking. And I want to also outline that I did utilize pine pollen tincture as part of my own protocol to really max out my own testosterone levels. So what exactly is pine pollen? Well, pine pollen has been used for over 2000 years as a longevity tonic in traditional Chinese medicine, supporting a healthy immune response, stress recovery, testosterone optimization, and also libido. Now, pine pollen is rich in amino acids, minerals, vitamins, enzymes, and flavonoids. And in this video, you'll learn the nutritional benefits of pine pollen and will also break down a reliable vendor for pine pollen. So just a heads up to support my channel, there will be an affiliate link down below with a high quality pine pollen tincture that I specifically have used and recommended to all of my clients. So you'll see that that particular pine pollen linked in the video description down below. And there will also be a discount code if you want to purchase. So be sure to check that out. Now, according to laboratory studies, pine pollen contains amino acids, DHEA, brassinosteroids, gibberellins, phenylalanine, polysaccharides, testosterone, but don't get too excited yet because testosterone orally is very poorly absorbed. If not, it's not absorbed at all. It also contains tyrosine, vitamins B and E. So, I mean, looking at the traditional uses of pine pollen, traditionally pine pollen was used in the treatment of fatigue, viruses, diabetes, hypertension, asthma, and prostate diseases. Now, pine pollen is considered both a food and a medicine but pine pollen must be prepared for digestion by extracting in hot water or alcohol or both utilizing a dual extraction because humans will struggle to digest raw pine pollen. So here are the main reasons why men are using pine pollen extracts. Number one is to boost libido and sex drive. This is perhaps one of the most noticeable effects from pine pollen. And this is something that I noticed even after the very first couple of doses, there was a dramatic rise in arousal and sex drive. In addition, we see men utilizing pine pollen to enhance erection quality. This is very obvious. If you use pine pollen before bed, you will notice waking up with a painful erection, a very painful you know, morning wood effect that's very obvious when you use pine pollen extract. Obviously, it also enhances that morning wood aspect improving energy, that's something that's definitely noticeable, enhancing recovery, and potentially increasing testosterone and DHEA. So the real question is, does pine pollen actually boost testosterone levels? Now, I personally don't think pine pollen tincture alone will be sufficient to really make a difference on a man's level of testosterone when doing blood work. Now, I truly believe that there are many other protocols, different supplements and biohacks that need to be utilized in conjunction with 
pine pollen to really see a big difference in terms of it increasing your total testosterone levels. However, I do wanna emphasize one reason why I like the tincture form over consuming the powderized form of pine pollen is that the tincture bypasses the stomach's acidic environment and can directly deposit these phytoandrogens some of these plant steroids directly into your bloodstream. So basically, since we're dosing a pine pollen tincture sublingually, we're gonna get a more pronounced energizing effect and we're gonna get those phytoandrogens entering into the bloodstream because they're not broken down in the harsh environment, in the stomach acidic environment. Now, I also wanna emphasize that many of the precursors of testosterone like androstenedione is highly psychoactive. Now, the reason I say this is because androstenedione, if you were to use pure androstenedione, you will get a pronounced androgenic effect. Remember, pine pollen contains many other constituents that potentially enhance the effects of androstenedione in the body. Now, I also wanna emphasize the phyto androgens that are similar hormones that are found naturally in the human body. Although these phytoandrogens, phyto meaning plant-based, and these androgens can actually act upon the human body in a very similar way. Now, one of the traditional uses of pine pollen was actually to improve prostate health. And we can see that these gibberellins, which are structurally very similar to testosterone, they can actually significantly affect androgen production and they are very potently restorative as far as improving prostate health. So many men that utilize pine pollen actually see an improvement in a urine flow and also a reduction in prostate related symptoms or BPH related symptoms. In addition, the phytoandrogens that are present in pine pollen are the brassinosteroids. These are being used as well to also support the body's endocrine system and specifically to help remove these xenobiotic substances and also xenoestrogens from the body. So it can actually be utilized to displace the xenoestrogens that are bound and blocking these androgen receptors in our body. So of course, you're probably wondering now, where are the human studies? Where are the human clinical trials? Well, yet again, we're looking at another supplement that lacks human clinical trials. And I'm just gonna be upfront and honest, pine pollen lacks human studies supporting its use to boost testosterone. But personally, I mean, does that stop me from using pine pollen? Absolutely not. This is a classic example of getting into an argument. If something has been used safely and effectively for over 2000 years, but has no modern research on it, does that mean that we should be ignoring this compound or this medicine? In my opinion, I personally think pine pollen can be utilized as part of a comprehensive protocol to improve male hormone status, libido, energy, and drive. Having said that, there are some in vitro studies that do appear quite promising. Since pine pollen is rich in DHEA, sublingual administration of DHEA is effective at increasing testosterone. So even though we're getting very you know trace amounts of this DHEA, the fact that we're dosing it sublingually combined with all of the other cofactors and flavonoids, potentially would enhance the effects of DHEA in the body. So as far as dosages are concerned and how to use pine pollen tincture, the recommended pine pollen tincture dosage is one dropperful twice daily. And we wanna cycle this five days on, two days off. Now the tincture comes, obviously the dropper is not just one little drop, we're talking it's about 20 to 30 drops. Now for optimal absorption, it's ideal to actually leave the tincture underneath your tongue. So placing it underneath your tongue and letting it like holding it there and then eventually swallowing. Um, so you wanna hold it there for about 30 seconds for best absorption. Basically all supplements, we wanna make sure that we're cycling and not just taking a very sporadic or randomized approach as far as dosages are concerned. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, there will be a very potent pine pollen tincture that will be linked down below in the video description if you want to purchase. There will also be a discount code. If you do, if you do end up using that link, that does support the growth and it does support this YouTube channel because it's an affiliate link down below. One final note for guys that are really ready and they really want to max out their testosterone levels as high as possible naturally, there'll also be a free testosterone optimization training that will be linked down below in the video description. Look for a link that mentions my free webinar on boosting testosterone. So make sure you enroll in that 
as I go through many of the other strategies that I've utilized to max out my testosterone. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.